Hi everyone, thank you for being here. Such an austere group, I see. I'm Tim Park. I am a full-time business instructor for the Connect campus. And my colleague helping me on this research is Dr. Linda Fultz. She's there live to answer any of your questions after I do this short presentation. So here we go. There's a small problem that I wanted to solve. The problem is, is adaptive learning as really as good as the publishers of our textbooks say it is. Our adaptive learning tech is so good that it's going to help your students learn 10% more and have 10% better grade score. At least that's what we've been told by a majority of publishers. So the real question is, does it really do anything to help our students? Now, my hypothesis is that, yes, the adaptive learning technology does help our students do better in classes. But can I really quantitate that? Can I qualify it? One of the outcomes, I believe, is that we'll find out that a majority of students, when they have the adaptive learning technology option, instead of reading the chapter and then using the adaptive learning technology to reinforce what they've read in the chapter, what they're doing is just jumping to the adaptive learning technology and hoping that the technology will help them learn the key facts of the chapter quicker. But ha, I believe that we've got one over on them because no matter how they use it, they're still going to learn if they if they keep up with the adaptive technology, they're still going to learn the key concepts of the chapter and probably do better in doing so. So that's the hope of, of the research anyway, we'll find out. So what's our methodology? We're going to have a control class section of the same class. So let's just say it's BMGT 1305. And in that class, I will not use adaptive technology. In another section of the same class, in the same period, we'll have the same information, but we'll add the adaptive technology to help the students study for the tests. And we will use an identical final test to show if there's any correlation between the adaptive learning students doing better on that same test versus the students that do not use the adaptive learning technology, but are using the same test, the same point. This study will have multiple instructors. Right now, there are two. I hope to increase that to at least 10. That will probably equate to over or around 300 students in the control and in the test group. One of the issues that I think will be stronger for us is that we'll use adaptive technology from any of the publishers. And you might think that's a detriment, but I believe that we've had we've seen some studies where the publishers have come back and said, hey, this really works individually. Now I want to quantitate that and quantify it and put it all in to the mix and see if four of my brethren are using uh, publisher. A's technology and for using publisher B, are there any difference between the two? And we'll have a short survey at the end to ask students if they were using the adaptive learning technology and how they used it. Because my strong suspicion is that they're just jumping into it and not reading the chapter. And we're going to have a larger sample size than some of the, some of the samples in the past, so that will help us out a lot. Well, that's it in a nutshell. I, I hope to have at least 10 sections of classes, probably more, uh, to pull data from. And with that, I hope we can come up with a, uh, at least a directional answer if the software really does help our students learn. Dr. Fultz is here to answer any of your other questions, and I appreciate your time.